and welcome to the next episode. Dr. Dre. I couldn't think of the song. But anyways, welcome. Today we are going to the Blue Ridge Tunnel. So you, you right there, come along with us as we go. So we'll see you soon at the channel. Bye. So tip number one, when you go to the Blue Ridge Trail, go early, um, really early. We're here at 1044. There's about maybe eight or 10 parking spots and they are all filled up on the Afton side, which is the east side of the trailhead. And it's supposed to be a little bit easier, flat. Um, so we can't park here, so we're gonna try the Waynesboro side, which has steep grades, and we're gonna see what that does. But come early, Afton limited the, parking. Afton is the flat side, right? Yeah, it's and more Waynesboro flat. Waynesboro is the steep side. So looking like we're getting some exercise, exercise. today. So. All right, so here we are at the West Trail Head, and it's pretty cool because this is the way, one of the ways to the Blue Ridge Tunnel, which was constructed way back in 1849. It took 10 years to finish beneath the Rockfish Gap in the Blue Ridge Mountains, right here in Central Virginia. The tunnel first opened in 1858 to allow rail access through Afton Mountain. It was designed by a French immigrant, and it is a 4,000. 273 foot long passage that took like i said almost 10 years to construct employing mostly this is interesting irish immigrants um and it was the longest tunnel in north america at the time it was constructed the tunnel is approximately 700 feet below the surface at its deepest point in 1980 and sorry in 1944 the chesapeake and ohio railway replaced the 86 year old blue ridge tunnel with the adjacent tunnel at a slightly lower elevation that could accommodate larger locomotives and in 2001 nelson county undertook the project that res resulted in the restoration of the historic tunnel so it's pretty cool because that means now we get a walk through it so join us Let's hit the road, hit the trail, and get some of that tunnel vision. So introducing Gigi. Also doing her Teddy Roosevelt, walking softly, carrying a big stick. And then... It is a... You gotta be careful on this part. That moment was almost brought to us by LifeLock. I've fallen and I can't get up. All right, so we're walking down to the tunnel. It looks like it's just a little bit from where you park. And I wanted to address some rumors. Um, people were wondering about this haircut. There was uh, a lot of people who were just un unsure had I gone bald, what had happened. But a lot of people don't know this. I actually was a star of a film when I was a child. It was called Caillou. And so this is just what Caillou looks like when he's grown up. So actually just got a haircut, um, but I think I'm a Caillou look-alike. So what do you think? All right, so, so far we've been walking in this snow covered path on the way to hopefully the Blue Ridge Tunnel. We're not actually 100% sure, but it certainly is beautiful. Uh, maybe not too safe, but that's all right. So we'll see what we say. We don't see anybody. So we had our first Bigfoot sighting here. This tree broken in half is absolutely a sign of Bigfoot. I've watched enough Discovery Channel and Finding Bigfoot, I think it's on Discovery Channel to know that Bigfoot broke that tree, right Ellie? What tree? The that one behind one. us. It's definitely not ice. Definitely not ice. It definitely hasn't been not. icy or snowy no. around here no. at all. It's Which Bigfoot. One? Definitely Bigfoot. Ooh. Ooh. Ellie? 
we can. Let's go. Here we gotta do more hiking. This is fun. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. We're almost at the tunnel. Ah. You're welcome. Here, let's give you a yellow sign. So on the west side, if you're coming the Waynesboro side to get to the tunnel, it is about maybe like a mile, mile and a half, and it's um, more of a steep yeah, incline. Right. Um, so to even you have, get to the tunnel. Yeah, to even get to the tunnel. So uh, anyway, but we're still on our way, and it makes it a bit harder when there's snow and ice on the road. So maybe don't come after a big snow or ice storm. Tips of the day! Here, you'll feel the tunnel air hit you. I do feel the tunnel air already hitting us. I, and I like this, whoa, got a whole ice chunk in my foot. But yes, the tunnel air is whooshing out. And as usual, Ryan sits on a throne of lies. I know, every on the time way we here. do something, it's pretty funny. You always lie about like one part of it. What did I lie about? You what? said it was going to be warmer long? in the tunnel. How long? It's so clear that it's not going to be based on the... It's warmer there in, in the tunnel than it's it is gonna, in Alaska. That, the hike's only going to be like 25 minutes. It turned out to be two hours. <laughs> so you have kind of a reputation for lying. Well, you can trust me. Yeah, definitely. I definitely don't. If you're going to play trust balls, do not do it with trust balls. <laughs> Remember when the silence grew so big it pushed the holes straight through the sky? The ground beneath us caved in every time. So God could hear you cry. All our cowards curling up in the smoke like a flame into the night. We didn't mean the stuff we said. Alright, so we made it to the tunnel and oh, it feels okay. super, super yeah. cold. It's absolutely beautiful and we got flashlights. And now we're going in. It's dark. Ah. So we're in. It's super cold. And Ryder's super loud. Super cold, super loud. So what do you think? This way we can go to the easier route, but then I just realized right now we can't go that way because our car is not there. Yeah, that is the problem. I think that's I why they recommend that. that one. I think that's why they recommend that one because you can park and just walk in. This one's a far walk to get to the tunnel because the tunnel's flat. And then a far walk back. Can I have a flashlight? See. <laughs> <laughs> So this is what the sides of the tunnel look like. You can see, I guess, just brick where it was redone. I guess some of the older brick. And then at the top, looks like more bricks going right on over. So right behind me, you will see there's almost like a waterfall in the cave. It is drip, drip, dripping down. And it is only adding to our enjoyment. <laughs> But is it? It's not. Oh, okay, go through it, okay? See, it's raining. Oh, wow, it's raining on me. It's raining. It's raining. Look up, look up. You can see where the water is coming from. That's where the water is coming from. Two, one. Two, one. Oh, three, go. Your dad's in the way. Run, run, run. Did someone say Chick-fil-A? Right now, we're in the middle of the tunnel and you can see the different stone behind me. It's crazy to think right above you. Yeah, it's freezing. And it's so cold. <laughs> Donner, oh, party of six. Oh. <laughs> so I think it's nuts to think right above you is all the mountain and then that previously the Blue Ridge, um, I guess train used to run right through here. So what do you kids think minus it's cold? I think you're blinding me with your flashlight. If we're lucky, this won't be found footage before the Sasquatch that they found in the forest found them. So we'll try to find a way out. If we don't find our way out first, it's been good knowing you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That's our last <laughs> wish.
So what did you think? I'm warming up my hands. Oh. It is so cold in there. I feel like I have a Rudolph nose, and then you come out and you're like, ah. So also, tip, wear a hood or bring an umbrella. Hi. Bring an extra coat. It's chilly. Chilly, I chilly. Have a jacket. Of course, that's not hooded for the, at time of all the times. I could bring my non-hooded jacket. How dare you? <laughs> so what do you think, Gigi? It's awesome. Beautiful. Is that ice down the Yeah, that is ice. Good find. Whew. So it is much warmer. Get that sunshine, the vitamin D! I got my happy dance. I'm doing my happy dance because it's so oh, guys, warm look at the out here. Crap. Beautiful. Then we got a climber. We got a climber. So the first rule of Jumanji is stick together. So with that in mind, Amanda and I are heading into the tunnel alone. We are going to go back to the Blue Ridge, uh, Waynesboro side, and we are going to go pick up the car and we're going to drive to the Afton <laughs> side and pick up Gigi and the kids and then go on from there. So we're going to split up. Boom, boom. Boom boom. I don't know the Jumanji song. song. I don't know it. <laughs> boom boom. Boom boom. Boom boom. Boom boom. So, boom we'll see what happens. We see you on the other side. Head. So, we dropped the kids off on the other side of the tunnel and just wanted to tell you a little bit about our experience because we really think this will be a a really awesome thing to do in the spring and the fall and the summer because in the summer I imagine the tunnel is very still chilly so it might be a nice way to cool off on a hot day once you get to it so anyway when did this open so this opened up in november of 2020 and so we were chatting in the tunnel that i don't know it's got to be one of the top things to do in virginia going yeah. forward gotta imagine it's great for waynesboro and then on the other side the afton side you're just up from the beer trail the wine trail i know there's some cider over there yeah so you can make a weekend a day or whatever out of it yeah i think that would be awesome or maybe start here in the morning and then hit the trails later because you definitely want to get here early because i don't think that they planned well for parking <laughs> yeah. uh because i think that this was such a cool experience that you're gonna want to do it and if you have night mode on your camera uh it's a really really cool photo op so that's another yeah yeah the night mode camera it's super cold inside the the tunnel like really cold it's a lot longer than you think oh yeah too, yeah i'll to it, you can side. see the other side and it looks like semi-close like quarter mile it was definitely longer it felt How's like it maybe oh, like a mile and a half and you cried um maybe two miles I mean, it was pretty, it was pretty long. The kids we also had really kids good. in the tunnel with us, so. True. May have been like a two minute walk, but that would take like 40 minutes, so. No. <laughs> we'll have to look that up and then we'll put it right down Right here. here. <laughs> yeah, so also if you got kids, I definitely think it's a great place to come with kids, coming yeah. from the Waynesboro side, like you read online, super steep elevations. It's not a it's bad not walk, as, no. Yeah, it's not, I think today, snowy. the snowy made it a little bit more difficult, but honestly, the kids had no problem with this yeah. walk at all, so. So maybe park on the Waynesboro side, because yeah. there's more parking, yeah, if you have and it's not a bad kids. walk, yeah, not at all. Well, if you have smaller kids, you might want to park on the Afton side. Um, yeah. But if your kids can walk a, a decent distance, I think you're all right getting in on the, the Waynesboro side because I'm sure it's a beautiful walk especially once it gets into the spring. Oh yeah really that'd be pretty. gorgeous. Absolutely. So anyway great spot for kids, great spot to come if you're just visiting one on the trail or if you're gonna do the wineries or breweries. Also an awesome way to start the day. Hey guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel because life is now. Live your adventure. Bye guys.